So I added Halloween to Minecraft, and Halloween is a special event that will have six new custom mobs spawn in, and you'll want to wait till the end of the video because I also added a custom weapon for each of these mobs. Alright, so first off, when can Halloween occur? So if we grab a clock, when we hold it up, it will say blank days until Halloween. And every day, this will count down by one until it is Halloween. And I have a command block right here that will set it to Halloween. And you'll, you'll see it says it is Halloween. So when it's Halloween, all cats that spawn in will, are, will turn black. Iron golems deal less damage and move slower. And the main changes is whenever a basic hostile mob spawns in, it is replaced by a, a random mob for Halloween. And there's four from the base game and six custom. So if we spawn this in, we get a witch. We'll go over these later. Alright, so let's go through the basic mobs real quick. So first off, we have a zombie. And this behaves pretty much like a normal zombie, except it can put hunger on you if you get hit. Pretty simple. And it'll drop Halloween candy, which when eaten will give you a bit of health back and some absorption. Alright, next is the skeleton. Very similar, just its arrows will now slow you. And it drops Halloween candy. And then we have the witch, which is pretty much just a vanilla Minecraft witch, except there's a little bit of extra health. And it will drop Halloween candy too. And finally, we have a spider, which behaves like a normal spider, except it can put the poison on you. Let's go through the custom mobs. So the first mob we have is a ghost. And what this mob will do is it, is it walks pretty slowly or floats pretty slowly, but when you hit it, it will do like a little screech and gain a big boost in movement speed. And the other effect is when it's nearby you, it can give you the weakness effect. And it drops ghost candy that when eaten, if we just give ourselves a little bit of hunger, see that when it's eaten, It'll let you float up into the air a little bit, and then after 10 seconds, you'll slowly float back down. Alright, next mob is the vampire. And the vampire has four separate spells it can cast. So first off, its first spell that it'll cast, it turns itself into a bat, and it will fly around for 9 to 12 seconds. And then the next spell it will do, it will summon in two vampiric dogs that will come and attack you. And they're always aggressive. And then, based on how close you are, it can either do a blood suck attack, just like it did there, where it will wither you and break nearby blocks, or it can do a. Alright, so if you see, if we stand far enough away, it'll, it'll drop a fog cloud on us that can poison us and blind us. So he has a lot of options and he's pretty hard to kill. But once you do kill him, you'll get vampire candy, which will give you regeneration, and but it will give you weakness. So if we go over here, we take a few hits from this zombie. See, when we eat it, we get regeneration but then we can no longer do that much damage. Alright, next up is the werewolf, and this mob's pretty simple. It has 50 health, it deals a fairly good amount of damage when it hits you, and when you kill it, you get werewolf candy. And werewolf candy, what it will do, it will give you strength, but it will also give you mining. So when you eat it, you, can't, you can no longer break blocks, but if you hit targets, you'll do a lot more damage. So if you like we come over here, you can see the skeleton. We 
we do a lot of damage. Alright, the next mob is the Grim Reaper, and we'll have to get some XP bottles for this. So if we spawn it in, the Grim Reaper has three abilities. First off, whenever it's nearby XP, it can consume that experience to gain a boost in damage. The next ability is whenever he hits you with an attack, he can wither you. And the final ability is whenever you hit him, you get poisoned. But he doesn't have a lot of health, and he dies pretty easily. And on death, he drops Grim Reaper candy. Which, when eaten, it will poison you for 10 seconds, but it does give you a big boost in levels. Scarecrow? And the Scarecrow works differently, because the Scarecrow cannot move, and does not count as an like a, as a mob and won't attack you unless you go below three hearts. So right now we're at seven hearts and see it's just standing there. But if we give ourselves once we drop below three hearts, it'll start coming at you and when it hits you it can blind you for a few seconds. But it doesn't do a lot of damage and this mob has 80 health, so it takes a really long time to kill. But when you do kill it, you'll get Scarecrow Candy. Which will do blindness and resistance when you eat it. You can't really see anything, but you see we don't really take much damage. Alright, and then the final mob I added to the game is the Demon. And this mob is actually neutral, so it won't attack you right away. But if you do attack it, it will come after you, and it has two abilities. One, whenever it hits you, it will set you on fire. And then the other ability is whenever you hit it, it will spawn in these demonic spirits. They'll so come after you. And they don't do a lot of damage, they're a weaker vet, but they definitely... If you hit, if you don't kill them quick enough, they will add up. And on death, you get Demon Candy, which will give you fire resistance, but the wither effect for 10 seconds. So you see we're completely fine in the lava, but we're slowly losing our health. And the next feature is that I changed how the Wandering Trader works and gave it a bunch of new trades. So if we grab some items in here, you'll see that if we... The watering trader is invisible right now because it's nighttime, but if we set it to day, it'll reappear. And we have a few new traits. So the first one is this bag of candy, which will take five Halloween candy. And when you eat this item, it will completely fill up your hunger bar and will give you a and will give you 30 seconds of regeneration. So if we let our hunger drain all the way down, you can see when we eat it. We'll go all the way back up and we get some regeneration. So this is one of the better food so this is one of the best food sources in the game. But if you did collect some of the other special candy, you can get some new weapons. So these new weapons, we have a ghostly katana, which when we trap when we trade for it, I can show it off. So if we summon in a cow. The ghostly katana does two things. One, whenever we hit a mob, we give it the weakness effect. So if we come over here and summon in a husk or a zombie, you see that when we hit it, we give it the weakness effect for a few seconds. And the other thing is whenever you get hit, you get a huge burst of movement speed, hit, helping you get away from anyone that's bugging you. And you can see that when we give it the weakness, it can't even hurt us. Alright, next up is the Vampiric Sword. And this one's its two abilities is that whenever we hit a mob, if you watch, alright, so whenever we hit a mob, we will regain half a heart. And the other effect is that every time we hit a mob, they will bleed out for five seconds and they will take an additional one heart of damage over five seconds. It's pretty simple. All right, next up we have the Werewolf Claws. So if we grab some Werewolf Candy, we can get the Werewolf Claws, 
And what this will let us do is if we eat up. It has two abilities. So one, whenever you hit a mob, you will teleport behind it. And whenever you kill a mob, you'll gain strength two and resistance one for a short amount of time. Next up we have the Grim Reaper Scythe. And what this and this has two abilities. One, whenever we kill a mob, so if we spawn this cow in, we'll get bonus XP every time we get a kill. Whenever you die with this scythe in your hand, it'll create a cloud of poison that will poison, wither, and slow all nearby entities upon your death. So it's a pretty nice item. Alright, next up is the scarecrow weapon. Alright, so the next weapon is the scarecrow weapon, which if we get 12 Halloween candy and 12 scarecrow candy, we'll get the scarecrow's knife. And what this does is it only deals 4 damage, so it's about the same as a stone sword and it can blind anyone you hit. But the main thing is that if a target has three hearts or left after you hit them, it'll execute them, instantly killing them and giving you an additional pumpkin seed. Final item is the demon trident. So if we go into survival mode, and this one takes demon candy, Oh, right, this one. Now, and if you're wondering, these trades do not replace any of the other wandering trade or normal trades. So if you ever want to buy kelp, you still can. But these are just added on. And the last item is Demonic Trident, which has Fire Aspect 3. Which means that whenever you hit a mob, you'll set them on fire for a really long time. But the new custom ability is called Lava Walking. Which means you can just run over lava like this. You can you can stand on lava as if it was about packed ice, and you can slide around on the lava. All right, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a happy Halloween! And if you want to see some more custom mobs I made, check out this video right here. Later.